Oh, well, I took the transmission off there, and you can see there's uh, a little bit of seepage from the rear main. The looks pretty dry underneath the input shaft, so I don't think that seal's leaking. Release bearing is shot. Um, pilot bearing shot. The face of the flywheel definitely needs to be turned, so we're going to pull that off and put that on the lathe. I think I can still machine that one. And then the clutch disc, it's right there. You can you can see the little. This is what a good clutch should look like. See the rivet there, but then that is right. This rivet is right at the edge of the material. So we'll grab another clutch. We're going to grab that from Rock Auto because they're uh, the the best priced around the area. They're about half the price of what I pay, and my suppliers there. So it'll come with a clutch. Uh, pressure plate, a disc, a release bearing, and a pilot bearing, and a uh, pilot shaft to line it all up. So we're going to pull this off and then uh, put this on the lathe and just uh, machine the surface off. So here we go. So line up the flywheel. You want to keep that within a dial or two if you can, making sure it's nice and even all the way across. The pressure plate gets bolted to the same surface as the um, clutch plate so we can just go straight across if it's got a step in it like a dual disc clutch something like that um, whatever you take off the surface you have to take off the step otherwise it changes the position of your clutch fingers and uh, you might be hitting your release bearing you won't have the right spacing in between your release bearing and the fingers and you won't have the right pressure on your disc either now this now this flywheel you can see there's some cracks in there and those are heat cracks just from when it got hot um, I don't replace them because, uh, like brake drums on transports and that, I've gone to uh, seminars where they say, well, as soon as you have a crack, what happens is it, uh, the surface goes like this and this actually machines your disc quicker. I don't believe that because I've never seen a, uh, drum that doesn't have these cracks in it. I think that's just a salesman talking. Um, it's not great, but it's not going to hurt it at all. So we just machine that down uh, five or ten thou, see what it looks like underneath that, and then put it back together again. So here we go. You see how much the clutch surface actually wears the flywheel. I've already taken about five, six thou off of uh, um, where the pressure plate bolts on, and I'm just starting to skim this surface now. So a couple more passes, and we'll get uh, a few thou off of that. Here we go. There's just something about a nicely machined flywheel. I don't know what it is. You can see the cracks there. I don't know if you can still see that. Still a little crack there and a little crack. I don't think at the end of the day they don't make that much of a difference. So I wouldn't replace the flywheel just for that. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.